Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. Alright, so today we got a really cool video for you. Um, it's basically a video that's probably going to save you a boatload of time if you drive an electric vehicle. And what is that? That is RFID card readers that attach to your account that allow you to pay for these electric vehicle charging stations without in a sense opening up a QR code or I'm sorry an app or downloading an app or anything like that now you will need to download this stuff ahead of time just to set it up one time and then after you do that you'll be ready to go so uh, these four companies that I know of these are the four that I found EV Connect, EV Go, Flow and ChargePoint allow you to purchase RFID cards through them and attach them to your account and then when you approach the charging station you just tap your card and just like that the charging station works no need to fool around with any app or QR code you just pull up to the station put your card there and it works so you have to do this through the apps and not the website from what I can see so just make sure you download uh, the apps that I told you and I'll put them in the description scroll over to your account and pretty much just hit get card now they do charge you anywhere from seven to ten bucks for these but you know what they're well worth it so I'm just going through a couple of the companies and just letting you know where they are you'll see them program cards some companies don't offer it um, I wish Electrify America did I don't think they do hopefully they do in the in the future but these four will help out and the one I use the most other than obviously Tesla would be uh, ChargePoint and they work really good but um, so basically I'm going to go out into the field I'm going to test each one of these cards on level 2's and DC fast charging stations to see if they actually work and then I'll report back to you guys and let you know so let's go on close this app down let's go hit the field and we'll see if these cards actually work okay we've reached our first station the EV go charge level 2 charger with a J1772 connector we are going to see if our card works for this so we'll go ahead and plug in and then we'll see if it works okay now we'll take our chip and let's see if it works Okay, hey, and it does. Cool. We're already getting the charging signal. Let's go check the car. Okay, and there we go. Three hours, 30 minutes remaining. We are on a level two charge. 200 volts, 32 amps, 24 miles per hour. Not too bad. All right, so the first EV Connect station works very well. Now we're going to go to one of their DC fast charging stations and see if that one works or not. Uh, that one's just right down the street. Okay, second station. This is a CCS and Chadmo station. DC fast charging. I believe it is 50 kilowatts. So we're gonna see if this one works. Sure it's snug. Then we'll throw it in, then we'll see if our chip reader works. Okay, it's giving us the message to tap our card. Okay, we're gonna swing over to another station because this one's not working, but uh, the first one did work, but uh, let's go try charge point. We'll, so we'll switch cards and uh, try their level two and then their DC fast charger as well. Okay, now we found a charge point over at a Kohl's here. This is just a standard level two. Over here, there is a DC fast charger uh, charge point as well. So we're gonna do this one first, put the chip in, use the J1772 connector and see if it works. And I promise this is my first time using the card. Let's see. All right, we tapped it, authorizing, it unlocked. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Okay. 
that we're putting in. And let's see if it turns green. And we'll know we're charging. We are green. Okay, so charge point card works perfectly fine at a level two. Guys, I would highly recommend getting these bad boys. Save you so much time with the app and other things like that. Perfect. All right, let's move on. Okay, this is our DC fast charging station charge point. This one is available 50 kilowatts. Cars plugged in. Let's use the chip and see if it will work. Okay, authorizing, waiting for EV charging. Cool, this one seems to work perfectly fine using the CCS port in use, and we are charging. Awesome. Okay, so the only next one we're gonna do, the last one will be Flow. We'll check out their systems and see if they work. All right, we reached another level two. This is our first Flow station. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this bad boy, use our card and see if this one works as well. All right, we got our card. Let's hold it up. Please wait. Plug the connector to your vehicle. There was the unlock mechanism. I wasn't seeing it there. Perfect. Now we can go plug this in and see if it works. All right, now we are in. This port goes right and unlocks right in here. Now, close the door. Door is closed. Now we'll see if we can get it to charge. Okay, charging is in progress. So we are good. Flow looks like it is working. Another nice card. Sweet. Let's make sure we'll check the Tesla's charging here. And yeah, we got green, baby. So far, so good. I'm gonna look for a DC fast charger for Flow. We'll see if they have one in the area, I'm not sure. Okay, now we're at the EV Go fast charging station, Madison. C3037, it's got a DC fast charger and a Chattamo again. We will see if our card reader will actually work. So let's get this thing plugged in. And we are charging. So as you guys can see, it is connected with the CCS port. 50 amp, 50 kilowatt hour charging station. So EV goes first station, good job. That one works perfectly fine. You can see there. So we do not have to use the built-in Tesla one, even though they do have it. We can use the CCS or the Tesla, either or. EV go, station, pretty cool. Okay, and that was all the stations I can find for that day. You guys, Flow, EVGo, EV Connect, ChargePoint. Please let me know in the comments if there's any more. Once again, download the app, connect your payment method, order the card, put the app away, and you don't have to worry about it no more. You want charging to be easy, and these cards make it easy. I just wish they uh, actually promoted them a little bit more. So let's hope that more companies actually come along and do this as well. With that said, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.